Hello everybody. It is Saturday afternoon and I am here at my local dive bar. And you're going to hear a lot of noise in the background because a lot of people are here right now. We, I uh, wasn't able to be here right at 11. Um, we decided to go down to Chambersburg, Pennsylvania to a, uh, it was a, uh, uh, a uh, uh, sunflower farm, a uh, farm of nothing but sunflowers. And so we went down there and took some pictures. Uh, the dog's getting old, so we took her down there, took some pictures of us, and then pictures of uh, each one of us, Miss Stipley and I, holding the dog out in the sunflowers. I posted up on uh, Facebook and on uh, Twitter. So if you go to Twitter, you'll see images, four images of me with the dog, holding the dog. So I had a good time. So not here as early as I would. So we're going to have a lot of, a lot of scuttlebutt going on in the bar means you're going to hear a lot of uh, content you may disagree with but that's what happens when you go outside when you interact with other people outside of your bubble of existence you're going to have people speaking their mind you may not agree with it but that's what the real world is all about so and uh, so yeah so got a late start here uh, the other piece I was working on I'm at the point where I can't really work on it uh, because I need to get use this ink and this ink is uh, still too fresh so we'll work on this piece here that I do that I use for all my time-lapse videos uh, this video this this piece is almost done so with this piece almost being done we'll have to start up another piece uh, I'm working at, at home in my free time. I am working on another piece. Uh, it is a Star Wars piece. So it's gonna, I'm having fun working on that. So you guys will be able to uh, see that. But it's, it's not going to be your uh, typical Star Wars piece. You'll discover that when I start working on it. So depending on how much I get done tonight, maybe I'll start working on that tomorrow. Or I'll just wait until this piece is completely done so we'll see so um first off before i get into my main topic of course please like subscribe comment and share it helps out greatly uh, the main topic that i'm going to discuss is uh of course the baltimore comic-con it is in less than a week um, but there's some other things I want to discuss with you guys. Uh, the first, I want to give a shout out to uh, uh, Legal Vices. Uh, he does a great show. It's in the more it's in the uh, mid morning towards afternoon. And right now, he because of the transcripts of the Depp Heard trial now being available. They are going through all the sidebars. So right now they're going through all the sidebars and they're reading them so we can really see um, what was going on whenever somebody objected and resulted in there having to be a sidebar with the judge. Um, we're, right now, the, or yesterday, uh, they did day eight and as they're, say, as they're noting, uh, the judge has already uh, had her fill of Elaine, and she's getting tired of Elaine and how uh, Elaine's conducting this and why she, how she tries to sneak things in that aren't. We're already determined in discovery that not be allowed to be admitted. So, and how he's doing it is very. I, I really like it. They're almost doing it like a table read. Uh, the TV show or a movie. Um, so you have uh, uh, 
they just take turns reading off whether it be Elaine's line, the judge's line, uh, Rottenborn's line, whether it be Vasquez. And uh, the beginning of the week, it was Legal Vices, Aussie Overlord, and it was Megan Fox. Not Megan Fox, the Transformers actress, but Megan Fox, the independent news journalist. And they did a good job. I will say, at the end of the week, they did an even, they did an even better job with, uh, they did a better job with uh, Chandler Remington. And she admits that the reason why she did such, like, and she did a great job of how she delivered the lines. Uh, she del really delivered them as if she actually was the person. She turns out, because of her being out in, out in California, she uh, has a lot of like actor and actress friends who will ask her to help them study lines for auditions or shows. And so she's become very good at reading, at, re at doing like table reads. Uh, I personally feel that the best way for them to move forward, if they're able to, is do get Megan and Chandler on. Uh, Chandler's doing such a great job with doing the judge. I think she should continue to do the judge. Uh, I think that uh, uh, Rottenborn should continue to be done by Aussie Overlord. Elaine should still be done by legal vices. Even though it's hell on his throat, he should continue to do El Elaine. And then, of course, Megan Fox, she can do, like, uh, Vasquez. Uh, and then, uh, oh, gosh, I can't think of, uh, was it Cho? I can't remember the name of the, uh, the lead attorney of Johnny Depp's team. I think it's Chu. Yeah, I think it's Chu. Um, him, I think, whether it be o Aussie or uh, Legal Vices doing double dipping duties, I thought that the job being done with them, uh, double dipping, was very good. I'd like to see all, like you said, I, I would think the, the dream team for doing this right now would be all four of them. And I hope they do. Uh, it makes it for very entertaining. But again, what's great is they read the lines, they laugh <laughs> as they read the lines because they're, like, they're like, oh my God, she's actually saying this. Oh my God, he's actually saying this. But then they continue to do their commentary on what's going on, giving you almost a, uh, a, a, a reminder of what was going on in the court to cause this sidebar. So it was quite well. I encourage you all to check it out. And then, of course, uh, the main topic is we have the Baltimore Comic Con next week. Now, they don't have the map available yet. I even posted it, and they commented back on my post, saying they're hard at work and getting it done. I personally, I'm like, guys, you have a week to go, and you still don't have this map generated. I actually went and got the program for last year, photocopied it off, and then using their, because here when you go to the page with all the guest artists, it lists behind the artist's name, it will list uh, what table they're at. So I did that uh, to make my own map, to give myself a, my own idea of where all of the artists are going to be. And just give me a, that way I can like plan how I'm going to go and where, where artists are. It's always good before you go to these shows to study the map so that way you know where this person's going to be sitting, where that person's going to be sitting. Um, many times you go basically so you can find out where all the lines are really going to be. So that way it's one of those like, okay, I know that if I go over here, there's definitely going to be a lot of lines. So that way that area would be harder to maneuver. My main concern, though, is now they haven't changed so far, even after I made their comment, I've looked at it. They have not made any changes to seven artists. And you have seven artists. They're all listed as being at table 2214. 
had seven artists. Uh, you have Art Adams, you have Chris Claremont, Dave Finch, uh, Mark Irwin, J.G. Jones, Brandon Peterson, uh, Wade Von Grodenberger, and Lee Weeks, all of them at that one table. So I'm sure it's like an island, it's one of those tables, it's like a rectangle and that's an island. Um, having that, so many major names at one table, that's going to make things... There's going to be, there's always going to be a log jam around that table. So it's going to most likely be one of those where it's like, okay, if you're in for this artist, you got to stand over here, they'll bring you over. So it's going to make things uh, interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if they have uh, Shay, Red Valkyrie. I wouldn't be surprised if they have her over at that table. Uh, another thing, found out this week, literally like two days ago, uh, Jason... Uh, unhinged or a blind artist how you might know him he is going to be at the show here uh, he got in at the last minute they had they initially contacted him said we don't have any more spaces uh, someone canceled so they called him up and or contacted him and said hey we got a space available so he's got his table um, so make sure it's he's down I think it's like a either F14 or F41. I'm not actually certain off the top of my head, uh, but make certain you check the map and go to see him. It's always important, specifically in Artist Alley. If you know the specific artist is going to be there, go and see them. Okay? Because if you're there and if you're making a ruckus of how, how it's great to see them, you can draw eyes and people, passerbys, to that table. So, I'm, lo I'm looking forward. And again, it's, 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 I'm looking forward because these are people that, I'm not, that I've now streamed with, that, I've got, that I'm, getting, I'm getting to know. So seeing them at the show is going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it. So, um, but no, I'm just, it's, I'm really looking forward to the show. I'm anticipating that uh, it's going to be a great show. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. In fact, I'm actually uh, reevaluating who I get the sign stuff. Um, the reason being is because there's some artists, there's some artists that, I see that's, that I've seen quite numerous times. Lee Weeks is one of them, and Lee Weeks charges uh, charges five dollars a signature. So it comes down to, I've, I've gotten him numerous times. I think what I might do is instead of having, uh, getting him to sign some books, because I've gotten him to sign him multiple times, uh, take those funds and use them towards another artist. So, for instance, Wade Von Gromberger. Uh, if he's going to be there and if he's charging, the money that I'd be spending on Lee Weeks, don't get have it Lee sign any of your books because you got quite a few. Have uh, have one have 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 Vaughn use that money towards Vaughn to get some him to sign some books. So I'm just doing some reevaluating. So, but it's always one of those where it's like, hmm, who should I get to sign? Who shouldn't you do? That's I mean, if you don't, unless you have unlimited funds. And you can go and you can spend a hundred dollars with each artist. You gotta decide who you're gonna see, who you're gonna spend money on, and how much you're gonna spend on. So it comes down to, uh, do I want to just get them sign one book that I really like, or there are like five books that I really like? So, so for instance, one artist that I'm probably gonna spend more money than I normally would is Chris Claremont. It's my first time meeting him. Um, and then again, it also comes down to, he's getting up there in age. Uh, who knows how many times I'll have the opportunity to see him. So, I know when you, I go to walk, do the uh, time-lapse video, this may not seem as interesting, because I'll be doing a lot of the black areas surrounding this pixie. Um, the reason by is you notice I'm moving the paper around a lot. Uh, I've noticed that when I do my time-lapse videos, 
the time lapse videos, the ones that are the that seem to be received the best, that do the best, are the ones where the image is still and I work and it's my hand in motion, as opposed to moving my hand around, as instead of the, moving the paper around. I've noticed those where I have to move the paper around. Um, they don't seem to do as good. So, but we'll see. But, but no, I'm really looking forward to Baltimore. Um, I'm hope I know Shay's on at four. I'm hoping she streams later tonight or unhinged streams later tonight, so I can uh, uh, at least, if not be invited on the show, at least put comments in the chat so uh, give them some heads up of what I know from uh, about what I've learned about with Baltimore. So, like I said, I really enjoy Baltimore. I hope you all go to Baltimore. And uh, if you see me, stop me. Say hi to me. Okay. So I'd love to. I'd love. I'd love to see. I'd love to shake your hand. Uh, if you want, we'll take a picture together. So, but so yeah, I'm gonna start working on the time lapse next. So, but I have fun doing the time lapse videos. Very. I find that when I'm doing the time lapse, because of how I can work on it for like an hour, and I only get like 30 seconds, if that, sometimes even less. So it keeps me focused on like how much I can get done in uh, that time period. So, and of course, right now, what also makes it interesting is. I wonder how these wings are going to look when I'm done. Because I'm not going through and I'm going to try to avoid doing this holding line over here. So, who knows? So, and let's see here. We got that little corner there. Yeah. So, okay. We are going to wrap it up with this video. We're going to start up the time lapse video. So I hope you enjoy that one also. Hey, and like I said, uh, even with those time-lapse videos, please, please, please share them, like them, subscribe so you can see more of those time-lapse videos if you enjoy them. Um, I get a lot more views with them. I know it, you have to watch, you get like, I have to almost get like a million views to, to mean anything on uh, YouTube. I mean, it helps me out. So if you like what you see in those time-lapse videos, share them out. So, okay, so I'm going to keep working here. Uh, you guys have a great time enjoying your Labor Day weekend. And remember, folks, life is always going to be stressful. And that's why you just take it all one dot at a time. <laughs>